so that was fun. It's time for a haul! Things are moving pretty quick. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I haven't done one in a hot minute, but hi, how are we? Today's going to be the midweek, the middle of the week. That's English. I just wasn't sure if I was going to vlog this week, so I, like, I made my mind up that I was going to vlog today onwards. So let's hope I make it interesting. But welcome back to another weekly vlog. I do want to talk to you guys a little bit because I just got a parcel in the mail, so I thought why not show you guys. But today all I'm doing is editing, <laughs> nothing new, but I'm getting my nails done. I'm very excited. Hello. What? I've recently got a bunch of stuff in the mail. I just haven't had the chance to vlog to show you anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of a haul. So welcome back to... Chloe's random haul. Like, it's literally the most random thing in the world. I have to get dressed soon because I have to actually leave. But this bad boy is the first thing we're going to talk about. I post this on my TikTok, on my Instagram, literally every platform. This is a book stamp. I am a book lover, obviously. This basically just says, from the library of Chloe Benson, read it, love it, and return it. So obviously you can just stamp your book, or basically anything, and it comes up. So I've done most of my books. I haven't finished it. But when I want to break from editing, I come in here and just stamp my books. But this is a new book I got recently which I haven't read yet but I stamped it so I thought I'd show you so this is the title page and this is what the stamp looks like ignoring my ratchet nails so how sick is that it's from Etsy I'll leave this link down below because a lot of people did want to know where it's from yeah this is from Etsy there's a bunch of different designs from the actual person that I bought this off so I'll leave the literal link to this down below but I love it I'm obsessed and like people are gonna be like why are you stamping your books I'm like well, I want I don't know I just liked it <laughs> so I got it because why not next couple things I got are like really random and like very impulsive but I'm I'm really excited to actually go down this road. So basically, a couple of days ago, my uncle came over and he had a bunch of stuff from grandma's house and like all like little bits and bobs. And I got this massive shoebox of jewelry. Now my grandmother was very small, <laughs> so most of it doesn't fit me. But I thought I could like alter it and make it bigger or like turn them into earrings or whatnot. So like that kind of made me think about what I can actually make into effing earrings. So I bought a bunch of like beads and stuff, and like I have one of these containers. So I'm gonna be making earrings because I don't know I think it's just me really like therapeutic I get really stressed <laughs> so I think this is gonna be really really therapeutic for me and I can step up my earring game because I, I wear a lot of earrings let's be honest but nothing really funky ignore my hair by the way but this is what came in the mail this is all from spotlight so I'll show you these first these are like little beads that I got so I'll show you the little beads to make out of earrings and I'll show you the little hardware for earrings I want to be fun and quirky so I got these little unicorn charms they already have hooks on them so it's gonna be easy all I gotta do is just add a like jump ring and like the hook and I'm done so I got them and then I also got little flowers these are all from Spotify oh my god these are all from spotlight I'm so sorry so I got little flowers and then I got little stars as well again they don't have to be earrings I can make them into bracelets or whatever but they all have like a little circle at the top that's gonna be so much easier for me and then these I had to buy because they reminded me of Rapunzel like a Disney princess so I had to buy two of them obviously to make a pair but like look how sick that is my pinky needs to actually stop. Oh my god. Look how sick. Like how imagine that as an earring. Oh my god. Like with the fancy so, excited. so now just I'll quickly run through the actual hardware to make earrings, I guess, or just jewelry in general. I did buy some lobster clasps for my grandma's jewelry in rose gold and silver. This is for like braces and stuff and like to make bigger for me to wear. So I bought them. I bought jump rings because this is what obviously you need to attach the earring hook to the whatever you're doing. And then I bought three packs of earring hooks just to get me started. There's 10 pieces in here. So I now have 30. And then the main thing I needed was like pliers. I felt the need to get this because especially with my long ass nails. So this is the plier set. So there's five in here and you can just zip it up, which I love. I don't know. They're like really cool. Very scary looking if you ask me. I'm kind of excited. I'm pretty excited to like go on this little bit of a journey of just making funky earrings for myself and like my friends. So that's my day. It's about 11 o'clock. So I really should get dressed because my appointments. Oh no, it's 11.30. My appointment's at 12.30. So I need to get ready. And I'm going to have a shower because my hair is disgusting. Tomorrow we're going out. We're going to look at some more houses. A lot of you guys have actually asked me about this. We are planning on building our own home. Hopefully everything works out. So we're like looking at houses to like get an idea. Nothing's happening yet. And then dad has an appointment in the morning. We're going to look at houses. And then I'm going to go to a shopping center and just look around. Because it's dad's day off so I might as well. And then maybe on Friday Frank's going to come over and film with me. That's the start of this vlog. It's really crazy. I'm sorry 
I started off with a haul, so that's fun. I'll keep you guys updated to do this currently 11 30, like I said. So I'm gonna get dressed and then probably put all this stuff in here. So welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I'm just showing you something. Aww. Aren't they cute? Yes, they are. There you go. You like them? Yeah. <laughs> This is going to be so fun. I am so excited. As you can clearly tell, I just made my first pair of earrings. I'm over the moon. Whoa, hello. But I want to show you, this is the shoebox worth of jewelry that it was grandma's. And obviously, oh, my bin just fell. This is my first pair of earrings. So like just looking at them, it's crazy. So far, they're not really that heavy, which is good. But it is, a, it's, all, it's 12 o'clock basically. So I'm listening to some music and make some earrings out of these two bad boys. So then you get my nails done. So I'll see you then. Hi everyone, it's 2 o'clock. Clock. I just got home. My nails are done. And these are pretty much probably the most, not basic, but like the most natural looking nails I've gotten from Chloe or in general because I'm usually a bright colored person. But these are my nails. She posted a little photo on her Instagram a while back before the five day lockdown. I was going to get my nails done. But she posted a photo of like these little swirls. And I'm like, I love these things. So I asked her to do some today. And look at that. They're all different colors. My thumbs are like that. I should do it like this. That would be better. Ignoring my skin. I hate my skin around my nails. Ignore it. But these are my nails. Look how natural they are. Now looking at them, I think they're a lot shorter than usual as well, which is very rare for me. They're usually like this long. I think next time I'm going to get some extra nails, but like this is so cool, even though it is like semi-natural, I guess. I'm going to eat some food and then probably edit. I really want to make some more earrings, but I think I'm just going to hold off for a bit. Clean to finish editing. So probably going to see a montage of me editing, I guess. That's the plan. Today's going to be boring, but tomorrow we're going out. I'm going to buy some stuff, probably, let's be honest. Hi. Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome back to the vlog. Letters and numbers is on. But I'm wearing different earrings. I made a couple more. Anyways, at the point. 5.30 and Corey's being a dickhead. And I'm about to make some dinner. We're just going to have dinner. some toasted sangers. I've just been editing my Twilight video. And I safe to say I'm pretty funny. It'll be up before this. So I'll leave it down below. So check that out. Are you right? Yeah. I'm really out here buying rubber ducks. Happy Thursday. Hi everyone. 
Welcome. Corey bought things today, everyone. Be proud. My nose is swollen. But yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I'll do a little haul and maybe Corey will show you what he got. I'm gonna pop it. Breathe. The parentals have just gone to the chemist. He dad needs some tablets and a script. That same thing, isn't it? Oh, it's the garbage man. Well, that sounds like a party, doesn't it, Corey? <laughs> Yeah. Can you not do that ever again? Anyway, so me and Corey are just chilling. So I bought a bunch of things to wear as earrings because that's my thing now. And I bought three pop vinyls and there's five at home waiting for me to open because it just got delivered. So you're going to get a big haul today. Corey bought two things. My outfit. I thought I'd tell you my outfit details because I didn't do that this morning. My jumper is from All Body UK. My white top. I think it's from Fashion Nova. My skirt's from Nasty Girl. Shoes are from Target. Necklace is from Grandma. And the earrings I made yesterday. What are you wearing today, Corey? It's a shirt and shorts. After this, we're going to go have some lunch probably. And then go look at some houses, like I mentioned yesterday, I believe. And then tomorrow, Frank and Neo's coming over. Me and Frank are going to film tomorrow. And you're going to see him in the vlog. Oh, that's going to be exciting, isn't it? And Frank hasn't seen Corey since he got his throat cut open. Also, update on Corey. Here's his throat. So all the glue's off now. That's his scar. He's very happy with it, apparently. He liked being famous for about a week and a half. So thank you guys for all the love that he got because he liked being famous. So yeah, that's the plan. So I'll see you guys at lunch, I guess. Peace. See you later. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>do that everyone guess what time it is it's time for a haul i like to weigh too much stuff <laughs> but i have two bags of stuff that i actually bought today at the shops and then i have four parcels to open that came in the mail so i thought why not do that i'll open these really quickly because they're just envelopes one is from an etsy order and these two are from spotlight to go with my jewelry so i might as well just open these okay so these are my giraffes Oh, that's cute. Two turtles, two fish, and two giraffe charms. Look how cute they look. Look at the little turtle. See you later. They're so cute. Okay, so now I can make earrings out of them. And these are my hoops. They're just like plain hoops. Nothing too special, but you can obviously make them over. Why is the parcel so big? I don't understand. Like literally that whole bag for this. All right. Oh, I've got more jump rings. Okay. I've got gold jump rings. Forgot I got them. <laughs> So that's that. Completely forgot. And then these are my little hoops. They are very small. But I think that'd be really cute just to start off. My earring making, I guess. Can you focus on it, please? Anyways, yeah, so they're just silver hoops. There we go. So that's my little spotlight order. This little cutie is some Etsy charms to make out his earrings. Because why not? Thank you so much for your purchase. Oh, it's from Hayley. I'll leave these linked down below because it is a small business. These are the charms I got. So I'm going to make earrings out of these. Like little M&Ms. And the Haribo Happy Cola. That's so so cute look at that oh earrings i'm so excited okay big w i bought everything but my parentals bought me a pair of pajamas so that's fun these are avengers <laughs> these are winter pajamas because they're all i have like spring not spring what summer ones but i don't have winter so this is the top how cool is this though that's so cool and then these are the little pants these are, I think, for men. So it has, like, the crotch area, which I'm not a fan of, but it's fine. But these are so cute. They are from Big W, and they were $30. Um, and then the rest of this, little knickknacks for earrings, as well as baby clothes. Because my friend Brianna is currently pregnant. She's pregnant with the baby girl, so I'm buying her some baby stuff. Because no one around me is pregnant besides Brianna, so hi, girly. She already knows I'm buying her stuff, but I don't know if she's ever going to watch this, but I bought her baby girl a couple things. So I already bought her a whole bag of stuff down there. Which I still need to give her. <laughs> I think I've got all of these in six months. So I'm scared to buy baby stuff from like newborns to three months. Because I don't know how big her baby's going to be. This is so cute. It's like a little top. It says Swith and Honey. Look how small this is. This is the first time I got for her little baby girl. Got her a jumper. 
I was going to get this last time, but I just didn't. Again, as you can see, there's a yellow theme going around. This is a little jumpy. I just feel like it's really cute. And then this one is the cutest thing ever. This is totally me. It just is a little onesie that says be happy on it. Can you imagine? If I see a photo of her wearing any of these, I'm actually going to cry. But this is that. Half of the bag down there, because on the floor right now, is mostly Winnie the Pooh things. Because I've mentioned to most of my friends, is Winnie the Pooh doesn't really go out of style. He's been around for, what, 100 years? And he just never grows old. Like, everyone still loves him. So, And they have a baby range at BW for baby things that are Winnie the Pooh themed. So if you want some stuff, go check it out. But this is the only pair of clothing I got that has Winnie the Pooh. The rest of it's like toys and stuff. But this is the Winnie the Pooh four-piece set. Look how cute this is. So you get a little beanie hat. Thing, a little bib with Tigger on it. Then you have a little onesie that says Hello Sunshine. And then you've got this bigger onesie with the little feet and stuff at the back. And this was $30, but I think it's worth it because you get four things in one. I just love this thing. <laughs> and speaking of Winnie the Pooh, I got a little rattle. But isn't this the cutest thing ever? I'm spoiling her daughter so much. But I'm also spoiling Brianna as well, let's be honest. But how cute. There's some baby things for you guys. But that's all for Brianna. And the rest of this is little knickknacks for earrings as well as pop vinyl. So these are from Big W. So I'll show you these first. So these are all from the party section. Literally just go to the party section and look like look for like party favors that people give people at parties. So I found these little aliens, which I'm going to stick a hook in and make you earrings, which I think are going to be cool. I've got two packets of these. These glow in the dark, which are cool. There's 12 in each. So I have a lot of pairs of earrings. So my friends are going to be getting some earrings. <laughs> I also got two packets of little skateboards. So there's little skateboards. I don't know if there's any matching patterns. There is eight in here, I believe. And the rest of these were like in the baby shower section. But I have a bunch of these. What are these called? Safety pins. So I have a 24 pack of these pastel ones. And then I got a packet of pink and a packet of blue as well. So I don't know. I think be really cute and i also found these now these are kind of creepy but like all the quirky little fun ones everyone likes so i got little babies i don't know why you would give these as a party favor and like you can see the bums and everything it's very very weird but i got two packets of them the rest of this is from like a two dollar store to make earrings out of i got these because i took these last minute and i thought these would be really fun and they're just like really foamy so it's gonna be really easy to use they're just little craft mushrooms i got dinosaurs now these are gonna be really hard to make out of so I only got one packet and then I got a packet of unicorns I don't know guys if you want some earrings honestly I think a lot of people are gonna ask me if I'm gonna go make a business now I'm gonna make them for myself and my friends and my family and then if I like them I'll make it into a business who knows at this point and then I saw a video saying that you can get really funky erasers rubbers whatever and make them into earrings which I think will be so cool so you just put an eye hook at the top and you've got a butterfly earring so I got two packets of them I actually really wanted like smaller ones of these but I couldn't find any I got little ducks these were five dollars jesus so i got two packets of these so i have two four six eight pairs of duck earrings if anyone wants them a girl can only have so many cute little earrings so now we're going to move on to a pop vinyl so i got three in the store today and five from facebook marketplace so with these these are all marvel i'm going to take them out of the box and have them on display because they're all bobbleheads if no one knew all the marvel ones are bobbleheads and i think star wars is bobblehead as well i don't know if you guys can tell but there's a row of pop vinyls right there that are all my marvel ones as you guys know I'm really scared. As you guys know, I'm a pop vinyl collector, obviously, and I like to keep them out of the box and in the box. So I'm I'm a bit of a box collector and out of the box collector. I know it's like a big thing. It's like you can't open your pop vinyls. You're allowed to open your pop vinyls, guys. It's okay. But some of them I do like to keep them in the cases. But these ones in particular, I'm gonna be taking them out. Which you guys will probably see. I might show you guys. But these three I got in store. I got these from JB. I got little Groody. Because <laughs> again, I'm trying to get like all like the main Avengers Marvel characters. And little Groody is so cute. These are all $20. But like look how cute he is. Who doesn't love Groot, honestly? I got these two from One Division. Now I haven't really seen One Division. Dad's been watching it, but I'm gonna binge it when it's finished. I got Wanda in the 70s and Vision in the 70s. I like the 50s ones, like the pop vinyl themselves, but the pop vinyls in store just looked a bit off. I don't know, so I just didn't buy them. But I really, really, really want Wanda in her Halloween costume. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for next. But again, as you can probably see, they are bobbleheads. So I got them to go with my collection. This lovely lady 
were selling five pop vinyls of Civil War and I really like the Civil War pop vinyls, the Marvel movie. It was a pointless movie, like the big fight and stuff, but it gave us like Black Panther and stuff and Super Superman. Oh my god, no, Spider-Man. It's a good film when you think about it, but like it was just really unnecessary for them to fight. <laughs> I ordered five of them. I already have Black Panther, Bucky with no arm, and then I have Spider-Man and Hawkeye as well. I did buy Scarlet Witch. Oh! Oh, okay, these look epic exciting. So I have good old Captain America. I have Iron Man. I already have an Iron Man, which is the first one over there. That was from the first Avengers and the colors are not really good. And I like this one better. So I'm just gonna put that in the study. But this is the Iron Man. I'll take them all out of the box and show you guys. Cause again, you'll see more detail. I have War Machine. Which is literally the funniest character ever. I also bought Falcon as well from someone on Facebook. So that will be coming hopefully in the next couple of days. I don't know. And then I got the two toughest women on the planet. We have Black Widow, baby. But look how stunning she is. This lovely lady is actually very hard to get her hands on. So the fact that I found her for pretty cheapish on Facebook is great. This is Scarlet Witch from Civil War. Stunning. Love her. Now I have to like take them all out of the box and like make them look pretty, I guess. And like put everything away. Right now it is. 302. I looked at some houses. We did everything we need to do today. So I'm going to clean my room up because it's a pig style after showing you everything. Look at all this stuff. That's my little collection. I have all of these baby clothes, my clothes. It's exciting. I've changed out of my really cute outfit. It's now four o'clock. So I thought I would actually put out my pop vinyls. So this is where my TV is. But I'll show you the ones I already have. And then I will show you guys the ones when I take them out of the box, I guess. This is my little collection. Nothing too special. So we've got Iron Man, Black Panther, Bucky with no arm. I don't know if you can tell, but there's no arm. I need to get the normal one. Spider-Man, Hawkeye doesn't stand up by himself. <gasps> Look what he does. Oh, now it's falling. Oh, God. Okay. Then we have Giant Man, which his head's actually broken. So that's great. And this is my favorite thing of all time. This is Venom Hulk. And I think it's so cool. I'm going to get a normal Hulk, but I just think it's so cool. Now I have all of them to unbox and put them up here. Hopefully there's enough room. <laughs> but if I have to, I'll just move them. I'm going to open Groody first. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Look how small he is. Focus on Groot. He's too cute. Look at him. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just put him here for now. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Okay. We'll open up Vijan. I do just want to say, a lot of people on TikTok are just finding this out. I don't know why. If you do take these out of your boxes, don't throw the boxes out. Check for little stands because I'll show you with Wanda there's a stand in here. A lot of people are realizing now that they come with stands. Not all of them come with them like Groot and Vision, which is right here with his little Better Homes a Baby book. That's so cute. Look at him. This is Vision and his little book. You can actually kind of see on this side it's a, it's a baby book how sick is that but now with this one most of the female ones feet are so small they can't stand on their own so when you open it down here the little stand so you can actually put her foot in which has a hole in the bottom so this is Wanda in the 70s with her little belly but now you can see there's a hole at the bottom of her foot so you just grab the stand and carefully put her foot in the stand and now she has a stand to stand on because her feet are so small next up we're going to do the Civil War ones. We've unboxed three of them. So we'll do Captain America. Now these were the second hand ones but this is Captain America. And then obviously if you didn't take him out of the box you wouldn't realize he's got a shield on. So that is Captain America. That's America's ass. Next we have to do Iron Man because it's Civil War. Oh that's so cool. This is the Civil War Iron Man. Iron Man done and dusted. We will do War Machine next and again I got these second hand so two of them come with protectors on them. But this is War machine very similar to iron man that's the point so we got them they'll be sitting next to each other next we're gonna do black widow natasha oh hello but this is natasha i'm gonna keep the marble boxes can you actually get in if we move or whatever i'll probably take put them back in the cases to take them other way because they are bobbleheads so i don't want them to be ruined but with the other ones they're not bobbleheads so they don't really matter <laughs> last but not least we have scarlet witch now i actually did end up collecting this whole set if you guys have been here for a while you guys know that i did have this collection i just never had scarlet witch i did end up selling the whole collection because i got sick of it and then i wanted to collect more if you've been here for a while you probably saw it in the background of my videos i had a massive pop vinyl collection i never had this girly and now that i actually have her it's crazy because she is kind of rare that's kind of cool again a stand as well because her feet are so small but that is scarlet witch this is the same character isn't that crazy to look at so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them on my drawers
Focusing on your Is face. it auto focus on? Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> see, focus on me. Sorry. There we go. Not everyone's perfect, Chloe. Oh, I can hear you. Hey guys, it's me, Bumblet. What's your neighborhood? Oh, sorry. Hey guys, it's me, Bumblet. Hello, best friend. Go How see are you? you? Here's Hi. your camera. Hi, everyone. I haven't talked to you this morning, but morning. Happy Thursday, Friday. Peace. Thanks. Love and happiness. Is that Lewis Capaldi? Yeah. What's happening? I don't know, but we're very colorful. Sleep. Hi, guys. So, yes, it's me. He is Frankinator. Look the at Frank that. Frankinator. We're in a film. We're also filming something on Frank's channel. Yes, we are, guys. It's 10 o'clock, so we're going to go awesome. film. So, but. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I took a photo. We're going to go film because every time we do this, we never film and we run out of time. So. That is true. Run out of time. We're on a busy sketch. Okay. Are we? We're booked and busy. Okay, we're gonna go film now. I'll link Frank's stuff down below. Hi, sir. He might post the video before this. I don't think so, though. Oh, so. She likes to be a hater and a half. I might post it before her. I don't think so, but let's go film. <gasps> Are we dumb, Frank? Well, maybe just a tad. That was some intense shit. One of us won. I'm not gonna spoil who won, <laughs> but I'm not gonna spoil who won. <laughs> Finito. Video one done. Video yeah. one done. Now we're gonna play truth or drink, but Part two. not with alcohol because last time we. we and it's kind this. of early ish. So let's get it on the road. Ew, don't ever start again. <laughs> Frank and I just took a bunch of photos. Just the Bensonator and I taking photos. Classic. <laughs> sorry for your storage. I'm sorry to this man. That's like for five Instagram photos. Yeah, maybe at maybe most. maybe six. Six, if we're feeling nice. 161 photos, Chloe. Go bless you. Go bless you. Anyways, it's like 1.30, so we've been productive today or whatever. We really have. We've gotten two videos filmed. We've taken Instagram photos. We've filmed TikToks. We are just social media people. Focus on me. F -f 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 focus on me. 
Ooh, Frank's going. We just was on TikTok for like 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> don't yawn, you <don't> <laughs> Hello everyone, I haven't updated you, I apologise. Really bad at vlogging apparently. It's currently almost 9pm. I have been editing my Twilight reaction because it needs to go up on Monday. Today is Friday and I still have about two hours of footage to edit. So I've just been getting to that. But I'm about to take my makeup off on a live stream and take a break from editing so much. Basically, I just filmed all day today with Frank, one for my channel, one for his channel. And then we filmed a bunch of TikToks and took a bunch of photos. And then he went home, I edited for a little bit, and kept editing till dinner, and here we are. Tomorrow, I really want to aim to finish my video. But the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be a sponsored video or not yet. I'm going to hopefully do that, and then I have to film. I'm leaning more towards filming on Sunday, and then Monday, we are going to Ballarat, I believe. You're going to see a little bit of a montage of that. And I'll probably end the vlog at like Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's like a full week. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I feel like I'm bending down. <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Saturday I believe. It is 11.46, I've just gotten dressed because the family want to go to a house inspection which is like down the road so it's not bad but let's got dressed. I've been editing all morning and I just finished editing like the reaction part of the Twilight video. I just have to do the ending then I'm done which I'm so excited for because it feels like I've been editing it for like 10 weeks. I don't know how I did it but I got like how many hours? About 12 hours worth of footage down to 23 minutes don't ask me how i did it because i don't know but i think i'm pretty sure it's going to be up by this video or by the time this video is up so i'll leave a link down below but i have to think of another series that i'm thinking either divergent or hunger games because i haven't seen either of them so if you want my reactions let me know but that's what i've been doing today i think i might film tomorrow as well which isn't going to be the most entertaining thing but i'm going to try my best to give you guys some content okay how exciting <laughs> guess who's a terrible vlogger you're looking at it what? Are you a terrible vlogger, Mum? Yeah. I am like having a mind fart this week and keep forgetting I'm weekly vlogging. So I'm so, so, so sorry about that. But it's currently 7.40 p.m. And I'm in the lounge room. I'm going to watch a movie because I just finished editing my Twilight. I said my Twilight movie. But yeah, my Twilight reaction. I'm honestly really happy with it. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I'm very proud of it. Fun little fact to Rico. We had Disney Plus. When did we have Disney Plus? Last year? Or the start? I think we got it like when it came out. 2019. Then we weren't using it because I, I bought Netflix for everyone. So we just didn't watch any of it because most of the stuff was on Netflix. Most of it anyway. And then they decided to play with my heartstrings and bring out like extras or whatever. My neighbours are outside. They're talking really loudly. I'm so sorry. So I've been contemplating whether to buy it again and like do it myself because dad bought it last time. But I'm going to buy it for me and the family. I paid for it yearly. I bit the bullet and did it. So now I have Disney Plus again. Well, the whole family has it basically. But I've just been looking at it all day today today and I'm gonna watch a movie there's a lot to look at like to go through hello <laughs> Disney plus but I'm gonna watch oh my god what's the movie called it's the one with Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy in it this thing is new star or whatever and it's got like a bunch of shit to watch where is it here mum's blowing her nose <laughs> Look at this fancy stuff. Got glees on it. Like how crazy. Even the lighting. It's just because of the lighting. Love Victor I've wanted to watch for ages. So it's finally up that I can watch. And there's just a bunch of stuff. Like this is crazy. Like Castle's on here. I haven't watched Castle since it ended. I've got Bones on here. I bought the DVD box set. But Scandal I've always wanted to watch. Station 19. Once Upon a Time. Criminal effing minds. Like Dude, I'm gonna watch The Heat. That's what it's called. Let's go watching. Look at that. What are those? What, what are those? <laughs> those bags that hold everything together. Why? What's gonna f come fucking popping out? <laughs> Nothing. It just keeps saying <laughs> shit like medically. <laughs> it gets plenty of ventilation. Thank you. My hands are foot off okay, and it's okay. on fire. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, just go in there fucking easy. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up.
Good afternoon everyone. Hello, welcome back. We're now home. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I bought today. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the WandaVision pop vinyl I've been looking for, but I'm just going to buy online. But I needed to buy little key hole hooks for my jewellery. So I went to Spotlight and I found a couple of bits and bobs to make into earrings. And mum just got these in the mail. She was going to use these for her knitting. They weren't the size she was thinking of. So I'm going to use them for my little bits and bobs because the case I'm currently using is a bit too small. But so I thought I would do like a little ASMR smart type of thing but i'll show you guys what i've picked up i got these from spotlight these little piggies i thought these were gonna be really cute so they are like pencil erasers but i can make earrings out of little piggies and the rest of this is hardware from spotlight so i got my little earring hooks so these earring hooks have 16 each then i have jump rings and these are 375 in each pack and i got two of them and then i have how many goddamn packets of these i have six of these because they were on sale and i needed them so these are eye pins these are what you screw in to the top of like the erasers or whatever fuck to me and then hook the earring onto that so there's six packets of these and there's 15 each so literally i have like 300 what i'm gonna do is get this little bad boy out it's like from a knitting shop but these are like the little containers i think for this i'm going to use stuff i'm going to make earrings out of and then the other one i have is going to be my hardware so i thought i would do a little bit of asmring let's do some asmring and sorting out all this stuff eh Hello everyone, update, having tiny teddies, it's almost 9pm and guess what we're doing, we're in the same area as yesterday, father and I are going to watch something very exciting, we're going to watch Billie's documentary, Billie Eilish is an icon and it goes to two hours, <laughs> it's on Apple TV if anyone's wondering but I've heard such good things about this and I've heard that everyone's been crying through it so usually dad cries with me but it ain't going to happen because dad doesn't really know her that well. <laughs> We're gonna watch this and we'll see if I cry or not. So I'll give you an update, but let's watch this documentary. So that was fun. Do you want to tell the vlog your thoughts, Dad? Dad didn't cry, everyone. Not in front of you, anyway. He got more annoyed than I thought he was. Uh, Dad's obsessed with Justin Bieber now, just saying. Boys love Justin. <laughs> it's 11.30. <11 laughs> you think that's gonna mess me up? Wait till Demi's bitch. Oh, God. Boy. Oh. See, I love crying. <laughs> you get one. Hi, take bye. Hi, filming. Oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I swear to God, every weekly vlog I do, I forget to officially end it. So here I am, like a week after I filmed the actual previous clip, which I think was me watching Billie Eilish's documentary, which was a roller coaster of emotions. But welcome. It's literally 10 p.m. on a Saturday night, and I'm doing the outro for a vlog. I do want to talk a little bit because I'm currently editing the vlog you're watching, and it's pretty darn long. I'm sorry. Since filming the first part, of this vlog a lot of stuff has happened so we went to look at houses and we actually picked a house that we wanted to eventually build and move into and all that basically we just needed to find land to put it on because that's how that works is it mum no Oh. <laughs> we are working with like a not real estate agent I guess not really I don't know what they're called I don't understand it's too fancy for me but he is currently helping us out to find land and today they got a message saying he found a block that would fit the house that we want at like 3 30 today we went and had a look at it and it like was lovely lovely area and then basically put down a deposit and we now own it <laughs> <laughs> things are moving pretty quick <laughs> but basically we just have to wait for the bank because we are getting a bank loan is that what it's called i'm not really sure but then we have to just go to the house company that we're building with and like choose everything like tiles carpet door handles bloody taps and shit like that type of stuff this is absolutely crazy <laughs> i have mentioned this in my videos before but when this all goes ahead i am planning on filming like start to finish just for like my family purposes to have it like as a memory of like building our own first home you guys have to remember that we've only rented our entire lives we haven't bought a house ever before so the fact that we're building one but also buying one is absolute bonkers but yeah so i will 
hopefully be filming the whole thing whole process i should say but just wanted to give a little update on that and also second update we got a phone call from the hospital now, i thought it was just a follow-up for Corey's throat surgery because as you guys mentioned or as i mentioned sorry in this video i show you guys an update on him but i think i mentioned it to you guys that he might have to get eye surgery done to put his eyes back in his socket because of his grave disease they made him pop out you get the point but that surgery is on the 18th and today is currently the 6th so it's literally in less than two weeks unless something changes so that's fun but i am planning on i am i can't speak today i am planning on vlogging every single week if i can <laughs> because it just makes me really happy to vlog and i have vlogged in a while and just because my vlogs do really well on my channel and my if you haven't realized my other videos aren't doing the best so gotta keep that content up somehow but that's my little update and i just hope you guys enjoy this long ass vlog i'm sorry if it was too long but what can you do <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up for me if you're new here please subscribe make two videos a week because every monday and thursday all my social links and everything i mentioned into this video will be linked down below like always that's pretty much it everyone remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video why am i doing this with my shoulders i hate it okay bye everyone Ta -da.